Hello believers, my name is Victor G. Today I want to share with everybody this amazing testimony of what Jesus Christ is doing in the life of Moises. Moises called me a couple of weeks back and that's the first time that we ever spoke over the phone Moises told me that he is a believer, that he reads the Bible, and that he wanted uh, to pray for healing and restoration of his feet. I told Moises about Hebrews 13, 8, where we read that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. I also told Moises about uh, Matthew 18, 19, where Jesus tells the believer today that if two of us agree here on earth, our heavenly father will do it. So in the name of Jesus Christ, both Moises and I made a petition to Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit to heal and restore his feet. Back then, we only spoke over the phone. We prayed, we shared uh, testimonies and Bible scriptures. A couple of weeks went by and uh, Moises wanted to share with me what Jesus Christ is doing upon his feet. Let's look at the before and the after photos. If you can focus on the toes, we can see the toes, but it looks like if they, they might be wrapped up on their skin. And uh, weeks later, uh, by the power of the Holy Spirit, it looks like if the toes are beginning to form. Actually, they already formed. So I asked Moises about the pain on his feet, and he told me that uh, uh, Jesus Christ already removed the pain. And now Jesus is uh, forming his, uh, his toes and is working on, on his feet. So I wanna take uh, the opportunity. Uh, friends, if you are having pain in your feet and if you are having um, issues with your feet, Jesus knows exactly what to do because it is written that our Heavenly Father knows what we need before we even ask. So believer, in the name of Jesus Christ, let's go ahead and um, pray for healing of feet. And if Jesus Christ can do amazing works in Moises, He's going to do amazing works in your life as well. If you are able to put your hands on your feet and simply say, in the name of Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, heal and restore my feet. Here's what we need to do, believers. We need to expect the Holy Spirit to start working already. So tell the Holy Spirit, I know you are here with me, Holy Spirit. Heal my feet right now. Take away the pain and restore my feet. Believer, in the name of Jesus Christ, I come in, a, in agreement with you. Holy Spirit, come upon the believer's feet right now. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, we command the pain out of your feet. Believer, Mark 16, 18 reveals to us that believers will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So continue to lay hands on your own feet. And if you also want to do this for somebody else at a different time, just go ahead and lay hands on their feet and, and tell Jesus that you want the Holy Spirit to work on your own feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, we command healing over the believer's feet right now. Pain, go away right now. Every bone that is out of place, we command you in the name of Jesus Christ, return to your original position right now. We command all the pain to go away right now. Believer, come into agreement and, and continue to ask in Jesus' name for healing of your feet. And the Holy Spirit will do it. Expect the Holy Spirit to do it right now. Even if you see this video in the future, uh, I'm still going to uh, go to Hebrews 13.8, where it is written that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, we are asking the Holy Spirit, Spirit, we are expecting the Holy Spirit for an amazing miracle right now. Believer, the pain in your feet is going away right now in the presence of the Holy Spirit as we call, as we invoke, as we summon Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, feet be healed. In the name of Jesus Christ, bones return to your original position. In the name of Jesus Christ, pain go away. Go away from, from the believer's feet right now. In Jesus' name and by the power of the Holy Spirit. I want to thank Moises for sending me his testimony so that I can share with other believers of the power of Jesus Christ and, and uh, uh, the Holy Spirit. Believer, don't forget to pray for others. Do so in the name of Jesus Christ and by the power of the Holy Spirit.